so St. Helens was a pretty, a pretty small parish, and that, that's, the, that's the ruin. The old, I mean, I, was re- I just didn't know this. And this is a wonderful thing about being asked to do these lectures. You've, you know, I've worked on Shakespeare for, God, goodness knows, nearly 40 years, and I simply didn't know that there, you know, in the middle of Bishopsgate, in the middle of Shakespeare's London, was that enormous ruin. Um, and that's, say, so the late 18th century, it's, it's still like that. So, um, so that's, the, that's the front of the, the double-fronted church that is still there. And then that, it's all that ruin around it. So if you actually sort of, and there, there's the church today. Um, so if you, and then uh, Gresham's house is just is back here. Gresham's house was actually so big, half of it was in um, the, this parish of St. Helens, and half was in the neighbouring parish, uh, St. Peter the Poor, it was called, wasn't it? So kind of Gre- that's, that's kind of where Gresham's house would be and where the rhetoric lectures would have been. Um, there's the church, the churchyard. So there's not actually many possible streets that Shakespeare could have lived in. I mean, I guess the likelihood is that um, he would have been, uh, that stage in his career, he'd have been renting rooms, probably uh, a sort of upper room on a house in Bishopsgate, which, which then, as now, was a, was, was a big street. One of the striking things about uh, Shakespeare is that if you look at his fellow actors, um, when, in 1594, when the Lord Chamberlain's men were, was, were founded, uh, the actors very cleverly got together and formed a joint stock company so they could share the box office profits. And then, obviously, once they built their own theatre, they didn't have to worry about giving money to the landlord as well. So a lot of the actors, uh, including Shakespeare and his contemporaries, um, really became quite wealthy. But if you, if you look at his fellow actors, people like John Hemmings, Henry Condell, Richard Burbage, the lead actor of the company, when they made money, they bought quite big houses in nice suburbs like Fulham. Um, but Shakespeare never bought a big house in London. He bought a big house back home in Stratford. And while he was in London, he just tended to sort of rent rooms. Um, and I mean, Silver Street's the, the most famous. And, uh, we, and again, we, we, we know that he, he was in Southwark for a time. But we, unfortunately, Silver Street's the only one where we know the exact address. But, but there is that sense that he, he's always keeping one foot back in Stratford. And the rural Shakespeare, as well as the London Shakespeare, is an important part of the story. <laughs>